What's up, guys? Uh, we just got a uh, teaser trailer from uh, 704, Martinsville at night. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is show it to you. This is, I know this is very low uh, quality, but you guys can easily check it out. And I do suggest you check it out yourself. Just type in NASCAR Heat 4 uh, Martinsville and it'll, you'll be able to see it. But So I'm going to show it to you real quick and then I'm, I'll talk a little bit about it. So without further ado, let's see if I can... NASCAR Heat hopefully. is less than two months away and there's quite a bit to be excited about with this year's release. With a deeper career mode that lets you start in any of the four series in the game and revamped audio and visuals, NASCAR Heat 4 is looking to become the best stock car racer this console generation. Now, one of the pre-order bonuses that fans will receive with this year's game is access to race under the lights at Martinsville Speedway before anyone else. And while it's only available for quick races until the 2020 season update early next year, the ability to race at night on one of the more famous tracks in NASCAR in the virtual world is still pretty exciting to fans. So that's why, thanks to the team at 704 Games, we're bringing you the first teaser at Martinsville Under the Lights before you can play it for yourself this September on Xbox One, PS4, and Steam. Take a look. So, there you go. Go check it out uh, yourself. It's in higher quality. But um, there isn't, as you just saw, there really isn't a lot to talk about. Um, in total, when you actually look at the, the actual video, it's like 13 seconds. So, it's not a lot. Uh, those of you who've been watching me for a long time know that every year I, re I repeat the same thing. And, I, and just nothing seems to change in terms of marketing. These guys are horrible at marketing. I don't think they fully understand how to market their product. Uh, and I'm not an expert in marketing by, by any stretch. But I look at things from the point of view of a, as a consumer. Right? So... It's my opinion as somebody who's interested in buying these games, when you show me this stuff, I can see problems there. You don't have to be an expert in marketing to, to understand that. So my problem with this teaser isn't really what's there. First of all, it's, and this is, everybody's going to say the same thing. It's just very little that they showed us. Um, and... I've already told you guys, they don't have anything substantial this year. It's all about taking last year's game, polishing it up, and it does seem to me like they are, that they made a lot of headway with, with gameplay mechanics and the visuals. The game does look better. Don't judge it by the what I just showed you because this is horrible quality uh, video. Go look at it yourself. Um... It's, it's in 1080p, and you'll see. The, the graphics are no, there's no denying it does look better. I'm not saying that it's the best-looking game ever. It's not. But to me, the visuals are more than adequate. I don't think anyone should walk away from this thinking, oh, the, the graphics suck, and I, I don't want to buy this because of the graphics, right? If you're expecting more than this in terms of graphics, I really I don't know what to tell you. I think this is more than I'm. I'm happy with it. Um, I've already told you guys how excited I am about the sound, right? So you do get to see that, and the Martinsville does look fantastic at night. I like the reflections off the cars and all that stuff. So that just getting that out the way, you know, I do think there are things to look forward to with this game, even though it is basically last year's game, but it got a makeover. You know, it's like uh, when you renovate your kitchen, right? You, it's still the same kitchen in the same house, but, you know, you can do a lot. You can replace the cabinets, uh, paint the walls, put up new tile, uh, redo the floor. Um, and you can just give the, the kitchen a whole new look, new appliances, right? So, yeah, it's the same game. But if they went in and they, they worked on the fundamentals, I do think that 
you know, there is a lot to look forward to if they nailed it, right? That's still, we don't, that doesn't mean that they did. They were able to successfully improve everything, you know, but, you know, knowing that they're, that they worked on it for an entire year and just focused on this stuff, I am, you know, I do have positive vibes about it that, yeah, this game is going to play and feel and look and sound better. And to me, that's a big deal, right? So, and I know a lot of you guys out there are really disappointed you and you don't feel as enthusiastic as I do about the game. And I totally get it. And, you know, I've been very critical of 704. I've been critical of NASCAR games in general for years. So I don't think anyone can accuse me of being too soft on these guys or that I'm a defender. Because, I, I mean, if, you, if you're new and, and you just started watching me, you I don't know, maybe you could get that sense. But I've been very critical, man. I've been fighting this fight for a long time. And not just me, but a lot of people in the community. I'm I'm just at a point where uh, I've I've accepted the fact that these guys aren't going anywhere, right? So you have two options: you leave, you just decide I'm not supporting these guys, and that's it, and that's fine. But the other option is try to keep letting these guys know where they're failing and what you want. And where they're doing well. So they understand. I happen to think. Judging by you know. Every year. They are listening. It's not. I mean they need to listen more. They need to do push harder. And give us more. There's no denying that. But it's still positive. It's still moving in the direction. That most of us want. Right. We have to. Be vigilant. We cannot. We can't just give up and say, "Ah, these these guys suck. They didn't give us enough." And I'm not. I'm not like one thousand percent happy. You know, they, there's a lot here that I'm. I'm still kind of uh, disappointed with, but I I see the the move forward that they that they're making, and I do see that they have kind of listened. And this stuff that they worked on this year is important, even though it's not new stuff. And they're not going anywhere. They have the license till 2029. Um, no one else is going to step in and just start making NASCAR games. So for me, it's a waste of time to focus on, on the most negative parts. I'm going to focus on continuing to be constructive with my criticism and continuing to try to get these guys to listen, right? I can't do that. I can't do it alone. And I, I damn sure I can't do it uh, just the way I go about things. I'm I'm not even on Twitter or Facebook, and I'm not going to do it. I that's, a, that's why I always call on you guys to step up and help. And, you know, you guys are a lot more technically savvy than I am when it comes to social media. Um, I, you know, I'm not afraid to say, listen, man, I'm, I'm 49 years old. I'm old school, man. Uh, I know how to surf the web. You know, I can make a video and post it. That's why these videos are low budget. I don't know how to edit. And it's, even if I knew it's too time consuming, it's, I, it's not worth it, right? I don't monetize. I don't make money from this channel. So I try to just get to the heart of things and it's just me talking to you guys and hopefully also to 704. So I'm just trying to explain to you guys why I am more positive than than I have been in the past because I at some point you you have to re make a decision, right? And and I'm making that decision that I have seen these guys pushing in the right direction. And I'm, I just have to keep pushing as best as I can with the ideas, with the uh, criticisms and stuff like that. Um, and I don't want to get to a point where I'm like, 704 sucks. They're horrible. You know, I did that with Eutechnics. And we they had five years. They didn't give us shit. You know, yes, the, the fucking paint booth is fantastic. And they... We've never seen anything like that. That was awesome. 
and I loved it. Um, and they did a couple of other little things that were pretty decent. But, you know, I do think people forget how horrible Eutechnics was and that company and those games. Um, and while these, you know, 704 still is leaving a lot on the table, they are at least every year improving. And they're, they put a bigger effort in listening to us than Eutechnics ever did. So we have to also be careful that we don't, get to the point where they don't even want to hear from us and they're like you know what this whole thing is toxic let's just do what whatever we feel like we're gonna do we gotta kind of be supportive so that's just my opinion right and I know a lot of you guys may disagree but I get it those of you who said I'm done with these guys I'm walking away hey man I got no problem with that but I'm gonna keep trying for now right that doesn't mean this is you know, open-ended forever, if I get to a point where I'm like, okay, I think I've seen enough and I'm done with these guys, that might happen. But I, I, you know, I, I see the positives and I think that if we continue to push, it, it's, it's going to eventually get hopefully where we want it to. So I just hope you guys understand why I do what I do and where, where my mindset is even if you don't agree with it. But getting back to to, uh, to this teaser trailer, here are the problems I have with it, right? I'm sick and tired of these heavily edited music in the background videos. You know, I this reminds me a lot of... Uh, oh my God, I'm, I can't remember. But when you see an action movie, right? Like the the born uh, the born identity, you know, Jason Bourne movies, right? I hate those movies because it is so heavily edited, choppy, shaky cam uh, action scenes. You don't really even know what's going on because the camera's all over the place. There's just a thousand edits and cuts, and you and you don't really see what's happening. So you, yeah, it, it looks like. There's a lot going on, but it's it's it sucks, right? And then you compare that to a movie where you see the action, but you don't see all these cuts. And the camera is like panned back where you could see what's happening. And you actually see fight choreography. And you can appreciate what's happening on screen. And it's not like the director's trying to use a trick with, with a shaky cam and quick edits and all these loud noises. And that's how I feel with their marketing. It's like, it's just chopped up, lots of music, lots of cuts. It's hard to focus on anything. And I think that turns people off. And this teaser, it's not bad. But this should have been the first thing we saw this year. This teaser. That would have worked. For the first... You know, like, before we even knew anything about this game. They should have dropped this. And then they could have released the information. Like, you know, all the, the gameplay upgrades and the, the visuals and the sound. And everything that we've learned a couple of weeks ago, that should have came after this. So if they would have released this first, I think people would have been really excited. This, a te they shouldn't be releasing teasers at all at this point. This is, people are already, we want more. We want to see gameplay. This was actually, when you saw the, the, the actual teaser, it was 13 seconds. What is that? That's why you call it a teaser, right? Because it's just supposed to get you excited. Like, oh shit. But that's the first thing you show. You don't show this two, 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 three weeks after everyone knows what this game's going to be. And we already know there's nothing else in this game, content-wise. We know there's not going to be surprises. And they're trying now they're trying to milk every little thing. So now, oh, Martinsville at night. And they're milking the shit out of it. And it's like, oh, it's a whole teaser. Too late for that. It, 
day one, this would have been great. And then the next week, they could have let us know about the game like they did initially. They, it's like they're going backwards. And I don't know, man. These guys just, I've every year you guys have, you know, if you've been watching me, you hear me say the same thing every year. What the fuck is up with their marketing? Every almost every decision they make marketing wise for me hasn't worked. And I think the majority of these pre orders now, now they did say that the pre orders are like through the roof compared to last year. But the real reason that these pre orders are through the roof is because in order to get the game early uh, this year, right, three days early. You have to pre-order. And I think that is what's driving the majority of these sales. It ain't, it's not, you know, I think most people would be content to wait. This game isn't going to sell out on day one. You, I guarantee you, you could walk to any video game store and pick this up day one. They're going to have plenty of copies, right? So the reason people are pre-ordering is simply they want... They want to have that three-day early access. So I think, I at least, man, I got to hope that they're smart enough to realize that that's what's driving this. That it's not that, oh my God, everybody's dying for this game. And they, they can't wait, they, so they're already pre-ordering. I do hope that the game is successful. And I hope that they do a good job with what they worked on. But I this is... We're less than six weeks away from from the release of the game. We shouldn't be getting these tre these type of teaser trailers. We should be getting gameplay. I want to see unedited, uncut. Uh, give us a couple of laps at. You could have gave us a couple of laps at Martinsville, three or four laps, so you could get a sense of the AI and and the physics. And, it's just everything is chopped up, heavily edited, music in the background. It's like, what are these guys thinking? I'm not, I don't like the marketing, man. It's just... Mm. So that's what I think of it. Now, I don't want you guys to think that I'm I'm hating on this the, the actual content, what little there is. It does look good. It looks good. Check the video out. In 1080p, it looks good, all right? Um, and we've already heard some of the sound. I'm really high on that. And the Martinsville looks awesome. I, and I, it, it looks good. But just the way they edit it, oh, I can't keep harping on this. I want to know what you guys think of uh, this teaser. Do you agree with me? I mean, this should have been, if they would have released this to, on... Like, this was the first thing we saw this year of, of NASCAR Heat 4. That it would have been very effective. Not now. We already know at this point. And I've told you guys, you know, don't expect any any additions to, to, the, to the content or, or anything big, right? We know it's basically NASCAR Heat 3 polished up and, and, and with upgraded uh, uh, gameplay mechanics. Which is okay for me, but it's you know this this is I would not have this would have I would have released this on the first day. That's just me. So I don't know what else to say about it. If you have any thoughts, did you catch anything in in the uh, teaser? You know, so I I know a lot of people are focused on physics. I I I don't I think people are getting carried away with. Trying to dissect video footage and, and physics. It's really hard to tell. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you, you're not going to know. A at least until they show us extended gameplay footage. Then maybe they can actually show what happens when you get side by side and, and make some contact. Uh, things of that nature. Um, but, and the fact that they, I mean, we're less than six weeks away. That's what people want to see, and we're not they're not showing it to us. So until I actually see confirmation of a lot of these gameplay mechanics, I don't want to get carried away. I, I this is heavily edited video clips. So I don't know what else to say. Uh 
So I hope uh, you got something from my opinions on this. Um, and I, you know, what do you guys think? Am, am, am I doing the wrong thing? Am I too positive with, when it comes to these games and, and this company? Uh, I have been really hard on these guys and, and NASCAR games for years. So, you know, I don't think that I'm, personally, I, I don't think I'm being too nice. I'm still being critical when I feel like I need to be. And also, I am going to continue to try to get my thoughts through to 704. And I do need your help with that. Those of you who do communicate with them, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, keep helping me out like you have been. And I am grateful. I want you guys to know that. Um, I don't know if I've really thanked you guys before, but I do. Also, guys like What If Racing, uh, Giovanni Tirado, uh, Elite Killer, all you guys, I know that you guys have, have helped me out, you know, and when I've asked. So uh, I really appreciate that. And as a community, this, we're supposed to help each other so that we get better games. I do think from what we know so far that I, I really believe we're, this is going to be an improvement over last year. And I think that people are going to find that, yeah, you know what? The game feels better. It looks better. It sounds better. And the racing is better. And I'm glad they just focused on that before they moved forward to try to add more stuff. And the fact is, apparently they don't have enough guys to do all this in this, you know, in these yearly phases. I'm not happy about that, but... It is what it is, and I'm just trying to help where I can, and I'm going to keep trying to do that. So that's it. Uh, I see you guys around. I look forward to your comments.